Hello and welcome to take three of doing this video. I've recorded this two times. My microphone died. Uh, I fixed. I bought two new batteries. Hopefully they work. So yeah, welcome everyone to a welcome to a video of reviewing the Transformers: Revenge of the Sith. What I meant was uh, Revenge of the Fallen. I've been watching a lot of Star Wars. So yeah, this is the review for the Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen DLX Jetfire. So let's get into the episode. <laughs> And if you don't know, I bought two of two of jet two figures of Jetfire. One for DLX Optimus Prime, so I can make him upgrade it so he can fly. One just because why not? Because I want to, you know, his details got to be great. So uh, let's take a look at the box, which is very damaged on on this figure, but on the other one, not really. So right here, you have some artwork of Jetfire. Here you have a side shot of his head, you know. Writing, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, you know all that. Him staring right in your face. And then we remove the foam. Also, this is like the third time I've recorded this. Did I say that? I don't know. But seriously, this is like third time. I hate it. Okay, so let's put that on to the side. Ooh, okay, that was bad. Okay, oh god, there goes the instruction papers. I need those. Okay, so let's just move this foam out of the way. Mm, that's a nice flight. Okay, so what we have is the stands, of course, yada yada. I seriously memorize where everything goes. I have these stuff. I don't know what these are for. Oh god, this. There's two of them. I got this thing for out the sponge head. Whatever this is. Some wings for jet fire. You know, there's this thing also, so yeah. That's basically it for the first layer. I'm nailing that. So I have another thing, you know, there's two of them. Yeah, you have this probably for jet fire mode, Optimus Prime. I uh, have a gun for Optimus Prime. You have, you have the cane for jet fire, of course. Whatever these are, <laughs> I don't know what these are for. Probably for Optimus Prime. I, I memorize where everything goes. Not really, but you know. Here's some other stuff, you know, for jet fire. You have this swing thing, whatever you want to call it. Cool. Um, his, two of his hands, which are not articulatable. <sighs> I keep on repeating my own words because I have to repeat this video. But seriously, I hate why aren't, why aren't the hands not, not articulatable? They should have made, like, they should have. Made it articulated because look at his size, he's big. Okay, here we have his upper body right here. Cool, sick. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of parts falling off of him, which I know where to put because I've done this before. His legs, sick, very cool. Now let's get his other leg up because those are what we're going to start with. Stuff for the back of the legs. Right here. Finally, last layer. Let's go. We have Jetfire's head. The cockpit for his S471 Blackboard or his cap, whatever you want to call it. Jet boosters, you know, that connects to the legs. I have issues with these legs. I'll tell you why. When, I mean, I'll tell you what issues do I have with this. So here is some other stuff. The big gun for Optimus Prime. Um, Jet boosters probably for Optimus Prime. Oh god. Wings. There's two of them. And this thing. So yeah, that's basically it for unboxing everything. So I can finally build Jetfire and finish this video. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need the legs. Of course, always, yay. Now jet boosters. This feels too too much familiar. I hate this. Okay, first thing what you're gonna need to do is just you see this? You see this little button right here, you just put push it and then push it down there. So then what you can do is just put this make sure to put this sideways. Make sure to keep on pressing the button. Where is it? Just keep on pressing the button so it can go in successfully. Okay, now this is the issue I've been trying to talk about. You see this? This doesn't go in for some reason. Like, I'm, I've been trying to do it for like the past, I don't know. I don't know why it's not doing that. Mm. 
Probably doesn't fit our provinces for the other side. Imagine if it is for the other side. Okay. Okay, now what we do is just press this. Okay, now this is just put in right here. So, yeah. See? It's put in fine and dandy. Now what we're going to do is just make sure to push this in also. Now, um, this this is the one that may have the issue. I have like I have this issue on both figures. It doesn't go in as it's supposed to for some reason. It just keeps on popping out. I, I don't know how to fix it. So yeah, this is how the legs are supposed to look like now. Now what we're going to need is where are those things for the back of the feet? It's fine. It's fine. How did you fly out of there like? Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, now you see on the back of the legs. Uh, let me just fix the orientation of the feet. So you see these two pegs right here. They get on the peg, the back of the legs, of course, as they should be. Cause I've done this before. Stupid, stupid piece of leg. I don't know how to fix this issue. Come on. I'll fix it later. You will be fixed. Okay, now same thing to the other side of the leg for the back part, you know, for the back part of the leg. Boom, you're done with the legs. Easy peasy. Okay, then what we're gonna... Oh, go with that. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna need the upper body for Jetfire, but since he is not stable enough, I'm gonna use the base so I can hold him. Okay, just so, uh, so to make my life even easier. You know, it's just the normal deluxe figure base thing, whatever you want to call it. So you just normally just do it. It's, it's pretty easy. Come on, we had this like for more than like four deluxe figures. We have we had it for all deluxe figures. Now, finally, Jetfire's upper body. Now there's a bunch of pieces that are in this bag. I'll show you how to put them. They're not even in the instructions. I just had to look at the box. How Jetfire looks. So yeah, now we have the upper body. Uh, as you can see, you see these little things it just connects right here. Now, stupid leg doesn't want to cooperate. I'll just make you cooperate later. This leg I hate. This one, it, it works fine. Seriously. Now just move, make sure to move the hands, so then you can just put them, you know, this part. Sick. Come on, get in there. So yeah, this is how the jet fire is supposed to look like right now. Okay, oh come on, why, why aren't you in there? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just make sure... Put, for God's sake, okay, these legs don't really want to go up, but they don't, do they? Ugh, stupid legs. Okay, let me just put them on the base. Yay, mission successfully put them on the base. I need more space, guys, move. Okay. After throwing inanimate objects to move, uh, I'm just going to have to fix the leg again. Hey, it works, it works. Now I'm going to have to do the other leg, which is another pain in the butt. Also, the stand is holding Jetfire very well with one leg. Sick. Well, Jetfire is the guy with the one leg, but you understand what I mean. Now, I'd like to you like you to go in. I'm once again asking you to go in. Okay, good enough. Good enough for me. Okay, also make sure to move your first hand again. It's just the legs are the frustrating part, otherwise this figure is great. Okay, okay, I didn't fix the issue entirely for the legs, but yeah, this is how Jeff is supposed to look like right now. Now I do not remember what steps I'm supposed to do. So, I'll get into the instructions. And get us for instructions, let's go. Also, there's a bunch of decal stickers, which I'm never going to put because I'm bad at de putting decals. Where are the decals? Okay. 
They're there. So here we have this big booklet. It's, it's, it's huge. And what was I doing again? Ah, oh, it's Jetfire's head. No, Jetfire's head. Where are you, my friend? Ah, oh, yes, here it is. So yeah, here we have his head. It is, of course, on a ball joint right here that connects right inside it, the neck piece. So what you're gonna have to do is just push it in. Okay, so that's on there, it took a while. Boop. Now where is his cap? Yes, very nice cap. Sick. That's a very cool cap. Now what you have to do is just extend it, make sure to bend it, you know, because there's plastic hinges, of course. So then you put you put these two little things up here. That's the only place where you could put the cap. So it so it falls off very much a lot, like regularly. Uh, that's that's the only part I hate about the cap. They could have just made like one entire piece with this, but then you'd have to make a different box design and foam so you could just protect everything. Mm. So yeah, you got that right there, you got his cap. Now this is how it's supposed to look like right now. Cool. Now what do I need? Oh yes, uh, the, uh, uh, these two pieces, I need uh, another piece, where is the other piece? Yeah, you need uh, these two pieces, so you can put it on the sides of the head. So let me just remove it from uh, the plastic. No. Okay, so you see there's this little uh, thing here, which I'm pointing at. Where is it? It's like I'm going in blind. Okay, the, you have this thing right here, which you then push this in right here. Okay. Oh, God. See what I mean? The cap falls out a lot. Okay, so I'm not going to put it until I'm done building them. So you get the first part of the head. I mean, you get this side. Boom, finito. This is how it's supposed to look like. Now I need the other one. Uh, now you get in there. Ta-da, this is how it's supposed to look like right now. I hate this cap. Why does it have to fall off all the time? Now what am I supposed to need? Uh, these wing pieces. You need the two of them specifically, of course, because there's two of them. Now let me find the other one. Where have, where where are you? Oh yes. Here's the other one. Boom, you need those. Now, um where does this supposed to go? Oh yeah. Uh so as you can see there's this right here. You could oh so you could remove this. I forgot to tell you about this. You could remove this so it could make your life easier, but it's very hard to remove now. Okay, so you see this piece right here? Eh. You just, wait, no, no, down here. Yeah, you just connect these wing pieces here. Okay, so that's in there. Now I'm gonna have to do the other side. Finally, we did this. Okay, now, oh yeah. So where is it? So you're gonna need this piece, also the second one, because he, that's how the way he was designed. Let me just find the other one. Look, it's a headache to build him, yes. But when you get used to building him, no. But finding the pieces is the other headache. Man, I've built this guy so many times that I, it's just boring to build him. Look, he's interesting to build, but when you build him too much, because your microphone doesn't work, it, it's annoying. Okay, boom, that's done. Now, other piece, of course. Um, Okay, so you got that, you got the back pieces in. Now what else do we need? Well, uh, yes. I'm gonna put these later, cause uh, I'll tell you why. Now where is this? So, um, to make my life much easier, I'm gonna use this piece first. So you have to do just turn it around, cause this is on the ball joint. So I just, let me just see where this goes. So uh, there's a little ball joint thing right here when I'm pointing. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't, I don't know. Uh, let me just put this thing right here. So what you're gonna have to do is just push it in, you know, as you have to do because I need help. Oh, no, 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 hey, I got it in. Wait, is this the correct side? 
How do I know which one's the correct way and which one isn't? I right, okay, I did it, I did it the correct way. Let's go. Now make sure to do the same thing to the other side. Now is the other side. My friend You seem disturbed because I'm trying to find you. Okay, now same thing to the other side. There's a ball joint and then you just push it in. It's put enough force not to break it. Okay, so I've got that in right there. Boom, that's done. Now we're going to do, where is this piece? These two pieces. Of course, there's this. Okay, so where is this piece? This is for the right side because it says R, which is good. Now, oh, this is the right side, right? So behind the hand right here, the yeah, right here, you just connect this piece in there. Let's just put that in there, of course, as always. Yay! Now, second piece. Man, I can't wait to put Jetfire in, uh, on Optimus Prime, you know, so I can make Optimus Prime look epic and display him, you know? Okay, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, ta -da, you've done, you're done with the back. Sick. And, yeah. I think you're basically done with this, with just putting Jetfire together. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely done. This is all for Optimus Prime. No, and, wait, where's, where's the fire two hands? Wait, no. No, I think, no, that, no, it's not for all, for Optimus Prime. Wait, I, f I think I forgot to put a piece. Oh, yeah, I did. Make sure to see the instructions always. You need these two pieces. Uh, I knew I was missing something. Okay, so, uh, let me just do this. How could I forget about it? I literally had the instructions right in front of me. So you can remove this thing, but there's like these two little peg pieces which you can just put the, this, I mean, put this in there. Yeah, this is how it look like. Oh wait, no, 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 this, right, right here. It's very hard to stand up like this. Is it supposed to look like? Oh, that's like down, come on. Okay. I'll just put the other one. And yay, we're done with Jetfire. So yeah, here we have all the pieces on Jetfire. I just need to put the other pieces that were in the bag with Jetfire's upper body. Sick. Now the bag, now this stuff for Jetfire's upper body. Oh God, there's something that just fell. I forgot about the cap. <laughs> I put it before, I just, I just said I was going to put it at, I put it at the end. Yeah, so yeah. So I can finally complete my build, no, not really, I still have those things in the bag, this game is Jetfire's Bust. So ta-da, you have his cap, now we're going to see the, the stuff that are in the bags. So I, so I have a pic, so I saw a picture of Jetfire, so now I know where everything goes. Where the hell does this go? Okay, so you see these two pieces, I, they just connect like right here. See, just this, just connects right here. Supposed to be like this, but there's this thing in the way. Let's spread the legs out even a bit more. Okay. The issue I have with this all like very big figures, they're just like they're not that articulatable, you know. I, this is why I like the MDLX for their articulation. So yeah, here you have this right here. There's the, of course the other piece. Where the heck are you? Okay, so, so these pieces are right here. That scared me. Okay, so I uh, see the, oh God, this piece, there's two of them. This goes on the back because there's these two peg pieces. What you're gonna do is just put it right here. This is made for the right side, so. Yes, 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 no, no. Are you upside down or what? Get in there, you dumb dumb. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to look at some more pictures of dead fire, I guess. Where the heck do you go? So I was right, it goes on the back. Okay, yeah, so you just push it in like so. You see this piece? You get it in. Where is it? Right here, and that, then the other piece will. You get it in right here. So, yeah. Sick. 
Why, why do you keep on falling off? Like, why? <sighs> These pieces really fall off so easily. Like, why? Maybe because uh, it's for autumn, like for the jet power mode, which is this probably. But seriously, it just falls off so easily. Maybe to prevent breaking it. Ugh. Man, when I'm done with this figure, I'm gonna be happy. When I'm done reviewing it, I mean. So when you just you see this ball joint thing, this is just for this butt plate thing, for you know stuff. Oh god, if oh he he came off, he came off, he came off, he came off the sand. Get back in there, you senior citizen. Citizen. Some of these ball joints, man. How did you even fall off, bro? Yay! Oh yay. Okay, so we got the butt plate in. And the two front pieces fell off again. Man, I just want to complete your look. Why, why you gotta be beefing with me? I just want to destroy something right now. After this, I'm just going. Just want to destroy some cardboard. A cardboard box. Okay, that's this there. That's there. Swear you, you collectible. Okay, it's in there finally. Now, what is this? Now, this is something I need to know. What is this for? More pictures of jet fire. Okay, okay, I found out. So there's two of these pieces. They go on the front. I swear, if he did fall off ever again, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is a collectible figure. What else am I going to do? Destroy it? No, he's expensive. Okay, so you see these little peg things? They just get. Oh, look, that's convenient. They just get in there. That is how it's supposed to look like. With well, let me just put this piece. Okay, ta-da, this is how it's supposed to look like. I just need to put the other piece. We're almost done building him. Yay. Okay, now we have these two last pieces. They go on the front right here near the abs. They're no Jet Fire Ad abs. But the detailing on them is like amazing, you know. Top tier detailing. Okay. These pieces in there. Yay. So just connect uh, where is it? Connect this to this. No, this to this. So yeah, and finally I'm going to be finished with Jetfire building him and then we then just going to talk about how he looks. Just like talk about the bit of the accessories. Then I'm done with this video. Then next time I'm going to make out this prime and Jetfire become one and the same. Ooh, the instructions are falling. We're done? We're done. Finally, we're done. We're done. We're done building him. Yay! Now we're now we're gonna get to the actual review. Under the back piece is gone. Where the heck have you gone? I'll oh, find it later. Yay! We're done. We're done building him. So um, I forgot to put this piece right here. So there's like a bunch of holes inside. Yeah, there's so that is in there. So you just put the push this in like so. So it's supposed to look like this. And. Uh, uh, and now we're just gonna put this right here. Boom. So yeah, now we have Jetfire done. Sick. So we're fi I'm finished building the senior citizen. We're gonna talk about his details. I'm just gonna have to remove him out of the base. Just, uh, just ignore that thing. Okay. Okay, we're done, we're done. Move you stupid base. Let me just put this thing for the butt. Okay, now let's talk details. So, he doesn't need his cane right now. Yay, he's well balanced right now. Okay, so let's take a look at the face. So there's a lot of mechanical parts near the eyes, the mouth. I like his beard. It's a very cool beard. Also, there's a lot of stuff on the side. I like how they put a lot of detail like up here, you know? The design is amazing. Like, see, look at the sides. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff for, you know, planes. It's just, it's just very cool. I like how they uh, managed to do it. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And now when we come to the hands, the hands, there's a lot of uh, gold, like, near here, you know. There's a lot of articulation that's going on. There's also some swivel here. I think this is called the bicep. Sick. Yeah, other, and then near the hands, we go down. There's a lot of, like, uh, gears and stuff like that. You know, and rods, very cool. Now we come to the hands. The hands, 
They're not articulatable, of course. Why? Why aren't they? Artic why aren't they articulatable? But yeah, you see these little pieces. Of this piece right here. It actually looks very cool. I like the, how the hands are designed. Sick. Now we come to the back. Let me just take a look at that so I can just explain to you what's going on. So we see more of the wings, like how complicated he is from the back. Like if you didn't pick him up, you have to be disappointed. You have like you should you should pick him up. Imagine if they make a premium of him, you know, a premium jet fighter, how large he'd be. Probably double the size. So yeah, come to the back, there's a lot of, you know, stuff here. It looks like his his uh call it his back section. He doesn't do an ab crunch because well he's hunched over already. Come back here. You see this piece, there's this is like this has a lot of details for some reason. Like, it's near the back. So now we come down to the legs. There's uh, these fin pieces that cover the landing gear. Like, the the foot the foot in the back is very well detailed. I mean, the leg. Now we come to the front so we can see more of the leg. Oh, good, there goes that piece again. So, uh, there, as you can see, there's a lot of pipes going on right here, you know. There's a lot of silver, all that stuff. You can see how the boosters are peeking out. Very cool, I just like that detail. Now we come down here, there's, oh god, there's here just a bunch of golden pieces, this is just the cover for the boosters, if he transforms, of course he doesn't transform because this is 3-0 figure. So yeah, there's a lot of timing belts, you know, on the side, you know, this is this is a very well detailed figure. And yeah, that's basically it for the details, and now we're going to talk about the accessories that can work with them. So Jeff Potter doesn't have much in the accessories department, he has his walking stick or cane, and his other hand which is like meant to hold his walking stick, you know, because he's old. So yeah, this is how he's supposed to look like. Also, he could hold it with his open hand. There's like this tab right there. So yeah, this is uh, just all the accessories. Oh God. So yeah, this is how he's supposed to look like with all this stuff right there. He's a very amazing figure, not much, and like, he is very articulatable, but because of his size and weight and how he's hunched over, yeah, he, can, he can't be that possible. That's the issue that I have with all big figures. This is why I prefer the DLX figures for, you know, more, like, better poses, you know? So, yeah, that's basically it for the episode and uh, basically it for Jetfire. Wait, not basically it for Jetfire. I'm still going to do him with DLX Optimus Prime so I can make him fly. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you know whenever I make an episode. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to wait until I bring in Render the Fallen Optimus Prime so I could combine him with Jetfire. So yeah, bye.